Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Hey everybody, welcome back to Tuesday Movie Reviews, and today I'm going to be talking about a movie I saw over the weekend that apparently has had a lot of controversy, and that movie that I'm talking about is Don't Worry Darling. After someone explained the controversy to me, I was still like, I don't get it. The trailers to me were very intriguing when I first saw them, and I still wanted to see it. When I first saw the trailers to this movie, I was like, ooh, I have an idea where this movie could be going and what this movie could be about. And when watching this movie, I was like, ooh, I really like the cinematography. I really like the look of the film. The movie does a really good job of grabbing that 1950s Technicolor look. And as far as the plot goes, I was like, okay, there's a few scenarios here that I'm thinking of that this movie's going to be doing. And for the most part, it does do it. The acting to the main characters in the movie are doing a very good job. Chris Pine and Florence Pugh did an amazing job. And like I said, you could kind of see the twist coming a mile away, and they're fine. However, we've seen them before. But the movie tries to add an extra twist, and I was like, okay, this movie's going up its own butt now. And you're probably like, Mike, what are you talking about? What do you mean the movie goes up its own butt? So we do get one twist, and it's like the main twist of the movie, but we kind of seen that already before, and you could kind of predict that kind of coming along, which is fine, because at that point you're like, oh, the movie's going to explain what that twist is, and why, and all the things that go behind it, and I'm filling a lot of little holes that are in the movie. But then the problem is the movie adds an additional twist to go along with that, and you're kind of like, Okay, now it's making more plot holes, and then the movie's almost over. How's it going to wrap it up? And the movie just wraps it up really quick. It's like, ta-da! And we've seen these twists for the last 20 years or so, or not more, and we've actually seen them done a lot. But then at that point, that's when the movie smells its own farts. It's like, no, we're going to add to it, and like, ha-ha, here we go. This movie has a lot of good things going for it, just not so great of a script, I would say. I'm giving this movie a C-. minus. Get more out of life. 